Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint this botanical style bleeding heart in watercolor. This channel is all about learning how to paint botanicals and flowers in watercolor. I've transferred my drawing using tracing paper onto my 140 pound watercolor paper. This is Arsh's cold pressed paper from a pad. And I'm using three different sizes of round brushes, Kalinsky Sable round brushes, and a zero, a two, and a four are the sizes that I'm using today. I'm using my three-step painting method to paint this flower. It starts with a wet and wet wash, then I move to dry brushing for fine details, and then I finish off with wet on dry to build up shape and form. Now you can see I'm starting step one of the leaves and this is the wet and wet wash. So wet paper, wet paint. I'm dropping the paint in um, using different tones of green and I'm letting them mix around on their own on the paper. I love painting leaves like this and it looks so bright and um, fresh with the white of the paper showing through. So one thing I do is I never ever put enough paint on the paper to cover up the entire shape. I always leave lots of white splotches and then I just drop in blotches of green here and there and the areas I think will be the darkest and then I let it mix together on its own. And this is the foundation of the style of botanical painting that I do. So I'm just going to move around and paint in the rest of the leaves and I will blend a few areas if I need to with my brush. I'll just soften it out with the brush and you can watch the rest of this while it's put to music.
Now I'm starting step two. I'm going to be using my zero brush with a bit of a drier paint consistency and adding on the fine details like the veins and uh, markings of the leaves. And I'm just gonna move around and add the veins on each of these leaves. Now I'm starting the same process on the flowers. I'm gonna add little tiny markings and veins. I'm gonna make curved lines to emphasize the shape and roundness of these flowers. Now I'm just adding a few more fine details. You can see I've painted in the little um, drop droplet area of the flower with a light gray and added some yellow and pink to, I think it must be where the seed is on the flower. Um, so I'm just adding in those details and then I'm starting on step three, which is wet on dry and starting to build up more shadow and form. So the way I do this most of the time is wet on dry and then I clean my brush out, dab it on a paper towel so it's nice and damp, and then I blend out one of the edges so it's soft and smooth. So essentially these are all sort of mini versions of graded washes.
Now I'm doing the same thing on the leaves. I'm using my smaller brush and I'm picking up the different mixes of green and I'm using that wet on dry graded wash technique and I'm going around and I'm adding color and darker depth to the areas of the leaves that are going to be in shadow or that would be darker. After that, I move on to the stem and the smaller little bits of the plants and flowers and I'm going to be adding more contrast. I'm going to be adding darker areas of the stem where they'd be in shadow or where they overlap with something and this really helps um, bring the painting to life. Now we can see the painting is getting close to being finished. I'm just adding those final details. I'm sharpening up the edges, adding a little bit more um, depth and shadow and dark pink to the flowers. And then I'm going to be cleaning up the edges with a little chisel brush just to tidy things up and also to lift out any highlights that I might want to um, retrieve that I maybe painted a little too dark initially. And that's pretty much it for this painting. This is kind of a representation of how I approach almost all of my botanical paintings. I'd love it if you'd share this video if you know anyone that's interested. You can hit the share button for sharing it on Facebook. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. If you'd like more botanical painting inspiration, you can claim your free copy of my botanical color mixing guide. Click the link in the video description below to claim your free copy.